Hello everybody, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. So today I'm going to be introducing you to, wait, can you see it? <laughs> I'm going to be introducing you to a new plant that I actually purchased this summer and I had grand plans to do a like time-lapse video. I was going to film the unboxing, um, film updates along the way, film the first repotting and then kind of like updates as it grew um and then i ended up deleting all of the unboxing footage and i was kind of like okay <laughs> like that's annoying um so i guess i'm not doing that anymore i have had this plant for a few months but this is just going to be a regular kind of repotting getting this plant situated i'm going to be putting it into a semi-hydro setup self-watering pot with a black moss pole which I thought was pretty fun. So this plant felt like a really big deal for me to get. It's been at the top of my wish list for like four or five years. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you would probably know. Um, this was kind of one of those plants that used to be very unattainable. Um, so I didn't think I'd ever get it. And now they are a lot more accessible. They're not, you know, $10,000 per one cutting anymore. Um, not even close to that. I saw these pop up on a plant shop that I had never heard of before, never ordered from. Um, and I saw that they had several of them in stock. So I continued to literally stock these plants in this shop for a couple of months at least. Um, and I was just like kept, like I couldn't quite convince myself because they were still not cheap. Like it, they were still between like $125 to $250 for a cutting. Um, and I told myself, you know, if there's ever a sale, then that's when I'm gonna get it. So I signed up for the email list and I'm just like keeping my eye on this plant. And eventually one day in like July or something, they had a sale. And I was like, okay, I was still kind of waffling, but then I was like, no, 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 this is a plant that you really want, you've been waiting and now it's on sale, so go for it. So I did, um, and it felt like kind of a risk because again, this is a shop that I was not familiar with, I had never ordered from before, but everything went great. Um, shipping was super quick, it was expensive shipping, but shipping was super quick, plant arrived in good condition and it's been doing well settling in under my care. Here we are a few months later and I'm very excited to finally introduce to you my philodendron silver sword. Oh, <laughs> there's some water in here. It's in bright light. Um, philodendron silver sword variegated. Oh my gosh. Philodendron silver sword variegated. It is so pretty. This is a literal dream philodendron for me. Like I said, it's been at the top of my wish list for many years now. And I can't quite believe that I have it. And it looks amazing. Like the variegation is perfect. It is just, yeah, it's a stunning, stunning plant. There's something about silver plants um, with variegation that just really does it for me. Like I love the combination of colors. Um, yeah, I just think that it is so, so gorgeous. So yeah, this plant, I'm so happy with it. Honestly, I'm really glad that I went ahead and got it. It came to me with four leaves. One of them died off um, not too long ago. It was, I think a fully variegated leaf. It, that one died off. Um, and then it gave me this. This is the newest leaf right here. So pretty. And it came in this perlite situation. I added the moss. I think I added the moss. I did, yeah, I added the moss. Um, and I have a little root here. And I think I have some other small roots in there. I did have this root as well, but I think it died off when this dried out when I was out of town. Um, but there might be some other smaller roots in there. So we're gonna check it out. I'm really not the biggest variegated philodendron person. Like I only have a couple in my collection, but this like something about the variegated silver sword, I just really love. And I love just the regular silver sword uh, just on its own, like the non variegated version. Um, so yeah, I do really think that this is just such a stunning plant and it is so nice that it's becoming more accessible. I'll link the shop that I got this. I checked a couple days ago and I, it doesn't look like they have any in stock. Um, but I also saw that We Pot Plants uh, got some in. I don't think that they've been posted on the website yet, but perhaps they are coming. So there's definitely a few shops in Canada that are kind of starting to get them into circulation. 
I'm definitely a lot more patient now than I used to be when I first started collecting plants. Like now I'm like, oh, I have to wait for three years to get that for a reasonable price? Sure, no problem. I'm just gonna fold this moss bowl to get us all ready here. This is from Houseplant Essentials. And I just really like that it's black and I'm also going to be um, using this self-watering pot. So I think it's gonna be a really nice kind of sleek, dark setup and that's really gonna make the colors of this plant stand out. So I'm just gonna fold this and I'm gonna be putting this into DIY Pond and crossing my fingers that that's gonna go well. I mean, most of my plants do well in Pond. Okay, should I fill it with moss now? Maybe I will just go ahead and fill it with moss now. Move the plant. Yeah, so the plant has just been living in my Millsbo tall IKEA greenhouse. Um, it's been kind of clipped near the top so that it's been getting good light and everything. But I don't know if I'm gonna put it back in the cabinet or leave it out after this repot because now it's gonna be in, I don't know if it's gonna be able to fit in this pot and this with this hole and everything, but we'll see. If not, I'll probably just put it on the Vizjo shelf because I don't think it needs to be in high humidity or anything. I just kind of put it in um, just to get it established. Okay, I'm definitely, let me measure how much space I need for the pawn. So I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna fold these little tabs. Boop. So, okay. That should be actually good the way I'm doing it. I haven't used one of this type of pole in a long time. I normally go for the front closure ones. But like I said, I just like that this one is dark. I think it's gonna look really cool. There we go. Okay. So now I'll just have to fill it up to around there with the pawn. Just gonna get it all ready. Okay, and then I'm actually, I've got my strainer because I just wanna go rinse out this pond before I put it into this because this doesn't have the like net pot situation. So I don't want a bunch of sediment just trapped in there forever. Me and my freaking ladle. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go dump this outside. Okay, I think that our supplies are prepared. So let's go ahead and pull this out of here and see what it's looking like. I'm expecting just little baby roots. Um, and hopefully it will just continue to root up in this semi-hydro setup. Actually, have more roots than I thought. Oh, it actually does have like more little roots than I thought. Let's be gentle. Just trying to look at which way I'm going to be putting it in the pot. I think I'll put the pole here. Yeah, so this is the little root system that we've got, which is honestly pretty good, better than I expected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pole situated in here. Let's put the pawn in the bottom part of this pole. I 
I think last time I put the jumbo perlite in, in the bottom. That honestly is probably a better idea, but I'm already going ahead here, so. Okay, I think that's as good as that's gonna get. So, let me add a little bit into here. I don't know. I haven't put a pole into this style. I'll do it like this. Okay. Okay, honestly, this is actually going pretty well. Now I'm just gonna fill it a little bit. Sorry, you could, like, probably can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna see how deep I'm gonna want to put this. I'm gonna want it to be about there. So yeah, I'm gonna stick it in right now. Okay, I'm just gonna gently hold this in place while I continue to fill it up. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cool with this like dark setup. Wow. She's in dark mode. Okay, she's all potted up and it looks so cute. Um, excuse me, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I feel like I have not been this happy with a fresh repot in a long time. This looks so good. The contrast of the dark with this like bright variegated plant. I think that that looks stunning. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? I'm so, so happy with this. Let's fill it up. Okay, that's it. It's all done. I... Just still don't know if I'm gonna put this back in the cabinet or on the shelf, um, but y'all will see in the update walkthrough video because I'm gonna be filming that later today as well. Um, but yeah, there it is. I'm so thrilled about this and I cannot wait to keep y'all posted on how she's doing. I'm gonna be obviously watching this plant like an absolute hawk because this is like my prized possession right now. I feel like this plant, my begonia polensis, and my variegated Thanksgiving cactus are like, and the monstera tie. Honestly, I could probably keep adding to this list, but I have certain plants that are just like my literal babies. Um, and this is one of them, the newest one. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm so excited to finally share this plant with y'all and be able to keep you updated and everything. The camera is like tilted down, but um, I'll link down below everything that I've used in this video and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have in the comments down below. All right. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.